it's Saturday morning, it's the AES show and we're on the Sontronics booth with Trevor who's going to show us the Mercury microphone, his new pride and joy which is full of valves and stuff <laughs> or tubes for our American friends. Uh, looks big, looks chunky, what does it do that every other mic on the planet doesn't do? Well, <laughs> there's a question, thanks Paul. Um, well look, after 12 years of Sontronics, um, we had a, an incredibly successful venture with our ARIA microphone, which is perched on your left shoulder there. Mm -hmm. um, it took a while to develop and was a labor of love. And really, we wanted to create something that was a, a, a go-to vocal microphone. Uh, and it, it proved itself. It actually worked and, mm -hmm. and has won many, many awards, kindly from Sound on Sound magazine also. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's become pretty much a, a go-to for many of the world's top artists and recording studios. So. What we did with that microphone was invested in higher spec, higher grade components, and the proof was in the pudding. So that sparked a, a little riot in my mind, and I thought, okay, what happens when you really go to town and spend as much as you possibly can on electronic components? Um, and again, two and a half years later, Mercury arrives, um, and the bottom line is simply this, to, to answer what it does that others doesn't or don't, um, it really has the qualities and precision that one expects and one finds in the world's most expensive microphones. Mm. Um, but being Sontronics, um, we tend not to be greedy. We have uh, a straightforward methodology of making sure that our customers can afford our products. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've managed to achieve, in my opinion, and many others, is that we have now our finest product. And um, we want to make this sort of weapon of choice for those, those producers and artists out there. Um, variable pattern tube microphone, valve microphone for our English friends. <laughs> um, and basically, what we've done here is we've made our own circuit design as usual. We never bother copying anyone else's. We don't try to recreate any other old models. It is simply creating the Sontronic sound. Uh, we've used uh, a 12AT7 or ECC81 valve which has lower uh, gain than a, a, the standard AX7 that we tend to use as we do in the, in the ARIA. Um, we've made up the gain in the circuits and essentially we now have heaps of headroom in this microphone. One of the things that stands out and, and really have to say caught me by surprise, this is the thing that got me more than anything else, is, is without being too nerdy about it, we've, we've gone to components which have tolerances of 1% and they are very expensive. Um, to be honest with you, one of the capacitors in there, it costs almost as much as one of the circuit boards in one of our entry-level microphones. So it's serious stuff, but the difference is utter precision. So you're talking about stability through frequencies and also when it gets hot, nothing changes at all. So it's, it's so robust, it's the sort of thing that you can totally rely upon in whatever application you have. Well, I I'm intrigued, certainly. So the question is, um, when can we get our hands on one? And what are your clients going to have to pay to get there? <laughs> right, well, the great news is over the last couple of years in, in the development, we've kind of had this perched on the booth at NAM and at AES yeah. as a kind of a soft launch, just to see what people's reactions would be. That's really been thumbs up all the way through. The microphone's been in some very, very famous studios. Um, with their help, we've been able to develop it to where it is now. It's This is production ready now. We've pressed the go button um, last month and we expect the production, all being well, um, to be ready before the end of this year. So we'll get one in your hands very, very soon indeed. Any ideas on pricing? Yes. Uh, based on, well, let's, let's say before the Brexit, without being too political, <laughs> we had a price. Um, we've tried to maintain that as much as possible. We're looking at a, a list price of around £1,499, somewhere in the region of $2,000, but it will be below the $2,000 mark. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you very much indeed.